Professor. Let me just quote to you from the Journal of Epidemiology and Community Health, an article by Dr. Madeleine Finkel. This is based on research in New York. The available science raises substantial questions about the harm to health. People living near drilling sites are presenting with symptoms, for example, skin rashes, nausea, abdominal pain, respiratory difficulties, headaches, dizziness. I could go on, there's many more. These, they say, demand further investigation. Now, and I would say that is entirely typical of the um, claims against fracking. There is not one single fact that links any of that to fracking in what you said, and I suspect if you read the paper, would be likewise. I have seen dozens of those. The available science raises substantial questions about the potential for harm to health and people living near drilling sites are presenting with symptoms including skin rashes, nausea, abdominal pain, I could go on, there's many, many more. They say this needs further investigation. No, I think the evidence in the United States is that it has been embraced predominantly by the local populations because it's brought investment and jobs reduce the cost of energy and therefore it's brought further jobs because then it's encouraged other industry to come in um, and the environmental and health problems have not been pre I mean occasionally you get issues you do that you, 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 in every industry you'll get incidents you know it's like having a puncture in a car occasionally whatever you do you need to change your tires regularly occasionally you get a puncture in a car and something goes wrong but and, and chemicals is no different in that regard but in the United States it's, it's predominantly been embraced and yeah. it's done extremely well for the United States. Well, it's interesting. I mean, obviously you have a stake in the industry because, as you say, you yep. to a certain extent rely on it and you want to see it more in the UK. As some people even inside the industry, I don't know if you know him, but Mark Bowling, the executive VP of Southwestern Energy, which is involved in fracking, he says there's a bit of a mere culpa. He says, we need to figure out how to do better on surface impacts, water supply, water transfer and disposal, drilling locations. We really didn't come out and say, yes, there are risks and there are, are obstacles, and we should have done. So is, well, he's saying we haven't done a good enough job. No, I think what he's saying is it's been a learning process, you know, which there is in every industry, which is a new... In shale's a new industry, you know, it's ten, 10 years old, but if I, look at, if I look at the US from a chemicals point of view, it's the most highly regulated place that we manufacture in. Because chemicals is a... You know, we, we deal with inflammable, explosive... Toxic, toxic chemicals materials. all the time. Yeah. So it's highly, highly regulated in terms of emissions and how you, how you operate. And America is number one in the world in terms of its regulatory bodies. And I don't see that it's any different in respect of shale. They won't allow shale if it's not safe. Yeah, well... But, it, but it's not perfect. You know, humans are not infallible and systems are not infallible. So from time to time, you'll have issues like you do in the chemical industry. You, you, you know, I'm sure, better than I do, that, yeah. that many... Many people who live close to uh, the, the fracking sites have been given money in the United States, but they've also been asked to sign quote-unquote gagging clauses, which mean that whatever health situations they may be experiencing, problems, whatever, they have made a pledge to keep it confidential. Now, that worries a lot of people, particularly... Well, in it the should UK. do. I mean, I wouldn't agree with that. I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't think that's an appropriate behaviour, to be honest. I'm not, I'm not aware of it, but if, it, if that is going on, it's obviously, it's obviously not, a, it's not appropriate. But 